Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and this is my living room. Today we're going to continue with the decluttering of my house. <laughs> and I have a space for you. Mm. This is going to be a wonderful example of Leslie having to having to buy more than one of everything and one for every season and one in every color and some things I've held on to because one day I'll fit in them but that day has not come in two years so it's going. <laughs> it's my closet and it's wow I don't know if anybody here watches um the Wads, Kimberly Wadsworth. She does a closet decluttering. If you watch her channel, this is nothing. This is fine. It's normal. If you don't watch her channel, ooh, you're in for a ride. Let's go. All right, everyone, we're about to enter the closet. This is my carpet cleaner that usually gets stored in there. Because no place in my house has any room for anything. Prepare yourself. Brace yourself. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a little preview of this. I also did a short. It's called a short video. <laughs> my clothes. The dog's clothes. <laughs> Christmas presents. Decor that got knocked over by the cat. This is, I hung this up because each day that I came in here to pick out my clothes, they were going to be hung right here. So I was ready to just grab them and get ready and go. Mm hmm. Got a, got a couple belts here. I'm pretty sure those don't fit. We might try those on for some entertainment purposes. Stuff hanging out of the drawers. These drawers are going to be decluttered, and I'm getting rid of whatever I don't need. I don't know why I think I need to hold on to clothing for 15, 20 years, but that's just got to stop. This is where I was storing all of my decor. Each bin was a different season, except for Christmas that took over half of it up there. Ugh, yeah. So, I'm going to set you up on a tripod. Right there. You'll see me this way. And... You won't have a good view of this floor, but you see it now. And I'm just going to start taking everything and removing it. Okay, there is zero airflow in here because I have shut my vent. Because why do we need air conditioning in the closet? Well, you need it when you're cleaning it. <laughs> All right, let me put my hair up. I'm pretty sure I got a hair bow in here somewhere. <laughs> Well, wow, I've, I've got a lot, a lot of tripods. Why do you have a lot of tripods, Les? Because I feel the need to buy seven of something if I like it. Um. All right. Pair up, business going down. All right, what I want to do, obviously, is take everything out, figure out what I need, what I don't need, what's donation, what's trash, what could possibly go to work for decor. It's so overwhelming. I don't know where to start, but if I just start, that's what helps. This goes back to my niece. It is a um, massaging chair. You set it down in your chair and it massages your back. 
and I needed it at one point because my back was hurting so bad. And I just didn't take it back yet. But I told her I'm, I'm decluttering and does she want it or does she want it to go to Goodwill? She said she wants it. Now, the box was in perfect condition when I got it, but my cat likes to claw at boxes, so it's not exactly in perfect condition. But it's okay. Everything be alright. I'm a little trouble closing it. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing here to close. <laughs> Sorry. First thing out of the closet. Alright, this is the gate that I put up when I was training my pup to stay in my room and not pee everywhere all over my house. That. Might take that to work in case I take him to work. These are shirts that do not fit. And so I guess I got frustrated and threw them on the floor. <laughs> so we're going to put that in the donut pile. This is my dog's food because I have to feed him in my bedroom because he won't eat unless I'm near him. It's very annoying. So, yeah. The cat got on it and cracked the top. So, this is a top to one of the new bins I just got. This is the top to a bin that's upstairs in the attic. So both of these can go up to the attic. I, I don't, I, I don't know. This is a sweatshirt that I have had for at least 20 years. <coughs> it can just go by ice. It's kind of kind of got some marks on it, so I'll throw that away. This is my beautiful boy, and I put it in here to protect it. <sighs> All right. I have a little bone. This is went with my Halloween decor. This is summer decor. We'll put it right there. Let's figure out what thing we're going to do first. Um, let's take this out. This is my air purifier. This is the bag that changes colors in the sun that I haven't used, but I'm going to keep it and use it when I go to the beach. This is one purse. I have a lot of purses. This is one purse. I don't know if they would all fit up here. This is my school bag. I don't want to get rid of that because that's a nice bag I got for free. This was a bag that I said I had to have because it's flag pattern. <laughs> Someone else can enjoy that. <clears throat> These are my flag patterned flip flops. I've got some flag patterned tennis shoes. I have flag patterned everything. Fourth of July is my, if you know, you know. All right, these are new shoes. All right, I'm gonna um, work. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. There's another one of my book rings. I need that in my craft room. All right, I am going to remove all of these shoes, vacuum this little section, remove all of this, 
wipe it all down because it's dusty. Put all my stuff back. We might have a try on to figure out what fits and what doesn't. We'll see. Alright, so I found two wallets on my floor and I'm going to donate those. I have YouTube channel business cards that I made that I will take when I go out and I'll drop them in vases or cups or bowls or put them on a shelf or whatever. Just see if something will happen from it. So I'm going to put this in the wallets and if you have ever bought something or um, or found a YouTube business card on a shelf, definitely leave a comment below and let me know if you subscribed off that. Because I would like to know if this is effective, if they go through the store at nights and take them off the shelf or find them in the various vessels that I have placed them in. Yeah. So we're just going to hide them a little bit so that whoever gets it. Usually, <laughs> I don't think um, Goodwill goes through it too much. I don't know. Maybe they do. But I would think they probably don't. All right, so now we have this part completely cleared, except for that top. Okay, what's that on the back of your wall, Les? Cat barf. He got up there and barfed. I've wiped off the top, but I never saw the back of the wall, so we're going to get in there and clean that. This I see is coming apart, but that's all right. This is a bookshelf from Target. And um, it has more shelves that you can put in here, but I didn't use any of those. I think I ended up putting more of them down here. Um, and then I just went to Lowe's and got a white metal closet bar and installed that and I hang my clothes from it and then I attached this to the wall with a L bracket so that it wouldn't fall forward it's not going anywhere I'm pulling on it it's not moving so 
I did one there and one over there. I'm sure there's a video, well I know there's a video of it in my playlist titled Room Makeovers. And then these are just two white regular bookshelves from Target, Walmart, but we don't know, don't remember. I have one on each side and these lower parts are supposed to hold like shoes and purses and things. And then my clothes are here so I can just come in, grab some clothes, grab some shoes, grab a purse. Great idea. I'm not being good about keeping up with it so I need for y'all to hold me accountable and make sure that I'm in here once a month. But I think one of my main things is I need to get rid of the excessive amount of clothes that I have because for some reason I think even though I don't fit in it, even though it's 20 years old, I can't get rid of it. This is the light bulb for my light. So we keep that in here so we can know where it is because we have a little bit of trouble remembering things. And he fits in there, but no. <laughs> okay. So yes, we have this part done. I'm going to wipe down these shelves, probably run the vacuum again, and then we'll go out to my bedroom, which is now a total disaster. And we're going to go through the piles of shoes, the piles of clothes, the piles of purses, all of the stuff. I need to find a new dog food holder because the cat sat on this. I think I already said this, but, you know, old memory. Um, and he cracked it, and I don't want his food getting stale and yucky. So I do need to find that. So that makes me excited because I have to shop. Yay. Those are done. Now, I think I'm going to go through what's in my room now before I add to it and figure out what's donate, what's trash, what am I keeping, get it back on the shelves, and then we'll go down one more section. All right, here's the pile of shoes that we are contending with. I'm going to go through them. I know that these will be donated. Um, I'm going to figure out which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm donating. And, yeah. Let's just get that done. Put that part up here. Okay, great. I'm doing good. I have more shoes. They're all over the house. The dog likes to take off with them. So I've got one here and one there. And I've got one everywhere. Yes, I do. I got one everywhere because of the poopers that likes to take off his mommy's shoes. Yes, I do. That's the poopoo here. Can you say hello? Hello, everyone. I have a bad UTI. I'm just peeing blood. I've had a few days of medicine. I'm doing good. Just a happy boy. Alright. These need to go into the wash. Let's go through the clothes. 
shoes and belts in there. Some shorts that are annoying. They have like the five buttons that nobody's got time for that. Nobody. Well, let's some bags and we'll go and put this in the trunk and then I'll come back and we're going to go through all of these clothes. All right, continuing on with the summer. We have the July 4th outfit. We have this that I can wear to work. These are going away. These are probably at least eight to ten years old and I used to like to wear them in the summertime but that's not okay cargo pants I'm pretty sure are out cargo um, capris mm. get with the times this is a great pattern for me to wear because it you know disguises the belly but I don't even think it gets around my belly anymore so yeah we're getting rid of this. We're getting rid of this. None of this fits. This is probably 20 years old. I believe I got it at Dress Barn. I did. Uh, this is well over 20 years old. Fun fact, belonged to my children. My oldest child would pass down to my middle child, would pass down to me because I wore a size 14 in kids till I was 45 years old. This is a size 16 in kids, but you know, you get the drift. Got this from Dress Barn. This is what I wore with that lime green sweater. Got it in 2013. That's going. This no longer fits me. Had it over 20 years. This I do wear in the fall. It's actually, I think it was, I'm, I'm feeling like it was a nightgown. I like to get nightgowns and just put a sweater over them. Nobody knows. They're cheaper and you can wear them and it's fun but it's a fall item, so that has to go somewhere else. This I love. I don't even know if it still fits me. Petite, small. <laughs> Put shirt button. I'll try that on. This I like. Don't know if it'll fit me. It's just a white. Okay. So, let me take all this off of the things. I could just give them all of these hangers. Maybe they want them, because I don't. I mean, my daughter that got this is now 30. So this is, you know, at least 15 years old. Probably closer to 20. <laughs> yeah, about 20. I mean, just ridiculous. Just makes me mad. There's a floor in my closet. I have to put all my purses there. i got to go through those. But decluttering my shoes is good. These are all shirts and like the white sweater. This is all I have left after decluttering. This is still a hot mess from there over. But that's okay. We just step over the mess. We just find a little spot. Put your foot down. All right. This is all going to be decluttered down here, but here are the clothes, the summer clothes. Skirt in the front, most colorful, blue, black, white. This is most colorful, but it's for 4th of July, so I'll put it back there. I could probably wear it on Labor Day. So, let me find a space to walk back a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we have that. 
Now I just want to pull off all of this stuff. This is extra sheets and blankets and things that I have from my, from my bed. And I'm getting rid of all that junk because I had different colors for different seasons and different, different. No, I'm going to get like one or two sets and rotate. I, I don't know. I got to do something. I can't. I cannot. This is decor pillows. My humidifier. Decor that got knocked down by the cat. The drawers don't close. Decor. Sweaters. A waste basket. I think I... I don't know why I put it up there. Uh, that's another humidifier. Christmas. Merry Christmas. You never know what you'll find in my closet. I think those were supposed to be Christmas gifts last year. We'll just transfer those. A lot of that crap can get, be rid, gotten rid of. Yeah. So, let's go back over to the happy side. The clean side. Oh, yes. Much better much better all right that's it i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up also if you haven't already please hit subscribe i love gaining new friends and until the next one i'll see you then we'll be back in the closet